we have learned that artificial intelligence is a machine that can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. The goal of AI is to replicate, copy human intelligence. The human body and mind is very complex. It can learn and perform a variety of tasks easily. Replicating a complex system like human intelligence is obviously not easy. Whenever you have a complex system, the simplest thing is to break it down into parts. We can divide human intelligence into three broad categories. Thinking and decision making. Communication, which includes listening and speaking. Vision, which is seeing and perceiving things around us. To build an artificial intelligence system similar to human intelligence, we need these three parts to work together. These three broad categories are known as the three domains of artificial intelligence. They are given the names data science, natural language processing and computer vision. In this video, we are going to talk about the first domain, which is data science. The data science domain is also known as data analytics or simply data. Just like our human mind works on past information or knowledge, AI also needs data. Data is information, a collection of facts and figures. We are living in the information age where there is so much data being generated and stored digitally every day. Data being generated is of all types, emails, audio, video, customer data, sales data, etc. With about 2.5 quintillion bytes of data being generated every day, did you know that 90% of the world's data has been generated in just the last two years? Mind-blowing, isn't it? Let's consider an example of weather data. Let's say you note down the temperature, humidity and rainfall data every day. These numbers are called raw data. In statistics, we try to get some useful information from this data, like calculating the average temperature or the average humidity. Let's say we want to use the data to predict if it will rain today. Now, how do we do that? We can train a rainfall prediction model using all the weather data that has been collected. This is the goal of data science to analyze large amounts of data and find patterns in the data. Machine learning algorithms can be used to train the models from this data, which can be used for making useful predictions. The data required for analytics can be anything. It can be numerical data like age, weight. It can be categorical data like gender, profession, or it can be just free text like names, feedback, etc. Let's take another example, YouTube homepage recommendations. When you go to the YouTube page, you see that it recommends videos just for you. Now, how is it automatically doing that for each and every user? What data do you think needs to be collected to make such recommendations? That's right. It's going to be videos that you have seen recently. How long have you watched those videos? Did you like the video? What is your recent search history, etc. So as you can see, there's lots of relevant data that can be collected to solve the problem. All this data is fed into the machine learning algorithms. It learns the pattern in the data and is able to make the recommendation decisions based on that. The best part here is that the human involvement is only in the development of the algorithm. Once the algorithm is developed, it takes decisions itself based on the data and provides recommendations to the users automatically. This is why we can say that the system is artificially intelligent. This is machine learning where it is learning from the data and it can make the decisions based on it. Remember that there are three domains of AI, data science, natural language processing and computer vision. In this video, we have looked at the first domain, data science. The data science domain is also known as data analytics or simply data.